Hello, Namaskara. Uh, I am Professor Hampioli from uh, KLS Gokta Institute of Technology, Belagami, Department of Mathematics. I am really thankful to VTU, E-Shikshan and all responsible for having given me this opportunity of delivering uh, lectures on the uh, third module of uh, Engineering Mathematics 3, that is 18 Math 31 subject code, a topic named Fourier Transforms and Jet Transforms. As you have already seen in the Fourier series, just like that, in Fourier transform also, uh, we have uh, two types of uh, transforms in this chapter. One is Fourier transform, one is jet transform. Fourier transforms are basically used when Fourier series fails. Fourier series is basically focused on periodic functions. When the signal is not in terms of periodic functions and uh, especially for continuous non-periodic functions, the technique of Fourier transform is used to analyze further in engineering fields just like signals and systems and many other engineering fields. So without the knowledge of this Fourier transform techniques, many uh, engineering subjects become very very difficult and almost impossible to learn. And here we uh, go for definitions of Fourier transforms. But before that, uh, I would like to ask uh, mathematically also a simple question. Sometimes some integration becomes so difficult to uh, so difficult to answer. After this, I'll write the topic name. For example, if I write uh, an example like uh, uh, this, what is the how do you evaluate sine of s upon s zero to infinity? The answer is it is difficult and impossible without the knowledge of Fourier transforms. The answer is pi by 2. How it comes? Let us keep uh, uh, appending or uh, let us keep uh, curiosity on this how it comes. Similarly, can you find tell me the value of uh, x cos x minus sin x divided by x cube uh, 0 to infinity? No, no, very difficult using our previous knowledge of integrations. All such integrations and along with the techniques which we use for signals and systems uh, will be answered through this uh, Fourier transforms. So here uh, we are ready to start the topic uh, Fourier transform. Just uh, let me make it uh, fresh. Again, uh, Namaskara, dear students, uh, please keep your pen and pads ready. I would like to, I would be very happy if you start writing along with this video. And uh, this time let it be, you can watch and at least next time you be ready with whenever I am writing on the, just like blackboard effect, we shall start writing. Maximum I will be writing uh, on this uh, scribbling pad. You also can start writing with me. And uh, some of the examples, let us uh, see through PDFs. So the topic name is uh, Fourier Fourier transforms. And Z transforms. After uh, after Fourier transform for discrete functions, uh, we take uh, uh, Z transforms. But uh, let me come to Z transforms after finishing the Fourier transforms. I am repeating. Fourier transform is uh, used for analyzing continuous functions and uh, Z transforms is used to analyze discrete functions. So now here we first start with Fourier transform. This whole Fourier transform depends on these six definitions. Six definitions, important definitions. And whenever there is a utilize and it is using all integration properties, whenever it is necessary that time only will the side will be writing what is the property being used what are the basics being used. So without wasting much time, let us uh, plunge into the first definition of Fourier transform. So first definition, here uh, I start with the first definition. So 
definition one. Definition one. The Fourier transform. Definition one. The Fourier transform. of a function f of x denoted by purposely I am writing so that you can write along with me denoted by Fourier transform of a function f of x after transforming this becomes a function of s so that for f we write f bar is defined as is Fourier transform of f of x. So here I take a pause and you should throughout this topic you should remember that it is just like coding decoding. Instead of t I am using x. f of t is a signal. Any function of time is a signal. What I am talking the speech is a signal. It is conveying some message to you. So to analyze this we don't keep in time domain. We transform that to frequency domain. But there are three types of transformations. One is this domain is same. In co domain, there are three different images you'll get. Just like if you take three different lenses here, concave, convex, and uh, mixture, three different images you start getting. All suppose functions of S you get. After coding, you get functions of S. One is what I'm writing now, F bar S. But reverse, you get same. One more is using sine function I write because if I use sine function I write that's why I write fs here fs of f bar s. If I use cos function I write c here to denote cosine transform. So that three types of transform we are learning for a given function which basically we don't want periodic and all that direct Fourier transform, sine Fourier transform, cosine Fourier transform three different images we get but back we will get the same function. According to the need we find direct Fourier transform, sine Fourier transform and cosine Fourier transform. Since we use integration 0 to infinity minus to plus infinity these are also known as infinite Fourier transforms. So coming back to the definition, coming back to the definition Fourier transform of f of x is I want to transform from x to some other function say yes. So to transform to other function somewhere I have to bring this yes I can multiply by sin sx cos sx e raised to isx so on and so forth suppose I multiply by e raised to isx so if it is only sx it just looks like Laplace transform so that Fourier transform and Laplace transforms are similar this is known as weight function or kernel of a function. If I go on changing this function, I will go on getting different transformations. Somewhere, somewhere I will filter this x, somewhere I will remove this x and retain s after doing some operation. Here operation is, I have to integrate from minus to plus infinity with respect to x. After integrating with respect to x, naturally after putting values of upper limit, lower limit, x will disappear, only s will remain. Only some s something in s will remain. Something in s I write after transformation this function f of x after multiplying what all operations we are doing after multiplying some weight function kernel of a function and integrating between minus to plus infinity I will get for f there is f bar instead of x in domain we get uh, in codomain s. So this f of x is uh, coded as f bar s. In frequency domain we can do the work. As again I am repeating if you go on changing this function and this limits you will go on getting different transformations. Very well known fu functions transformations are Laplace transform, Fourier transform, Hankel transform, fast Fourier transform and also then violet transformations. Now this is direct Fourier transform from f of x to from f of x to f bar s. How to come reverse? Now reverse is known as inverse Fourier transform without reversing if at all whatever we are getting from ice to water water to ice if it is possible then it is useful 
in invertible reversible interaction should be there if it is not then it will not be much useful for the work inverse fourier transform let me take it as second definition second definition inverse fourier transform of this function you have to invert and get back this of f bar s is so to this f bar s i will be multiplying by similar function but here negative sign and afterwards i will be doing the similar operation like integration but here very important most of the mistakes are done here only instead of integrating with respect to x we will have to integrate with respect to can you guess i think many of you have guessed correctly you have to integrate with respect to s so after integrating with respect to x putting the limits x terms remain but exactly you will get f of x back provided you multiply by 1 upon 2 pi and this is known as inverse fourier transform fourier its inverse fourier transform on the function f bar of s so that notations also will be getting once again from f of x to f bar s direct fourier transform via this operation of multiplying by e raised to isx and integrating and inverse fourier transform via this integration so both are integrations now we'll proceed to have similarly instead of this function if i multiply by sin sx 0 to infinity i will get fourier sine transform cos sx 0 to infinity i will get fourier cosine transform here i go for the third definition so if i am repeating six definitions for this chapter are important so fourier fourier sine transform of f of x is some f of x is there we are doing some transformation we are using sine function that's why i write it as yes this s denotes sine let us not get confused with this s and this s the suffix s is for sine and uh, that transformation to the same function i multiply by instead of e raised to isx i multiply by sine of say i am bringing s here and integrate with respect to x 0 to infinity dx whatever the output comes it will be in terms of s again but it will not be same as the previous s function what was the previous s function this was the previous s function so it will not be like this it will be little different that's why we write a little different notation for this so that will be denoted by this is output is a s function some f bar s of suffix s this s and this s are different this is for sign this is for variable s totally there are in the whole chapter we are having two variables x and s from f of x to f bar s and from f bar s to f of x similarly f of x to some function of s and from the function of s to f of x will be going so throughout will be transforming from x domain to s domain s domain to x domain back whenever there is a transform we define corresponding inverse fourier transform that is from f of x to sorry from from f of x to f bar s now reverse from this sine fourier sine transform to back f of x becomes definition number 4 which we call it as inverse fourier sine transform 
electron let me use for the purpose of utility fst of this function is so fourier inverse function but it is sine inverse of this function so back we'll get f of x but uh, by doing what operation to this function of s we have to multiply with same weight function sine of sx integrate with respect to what again please guess before i write integrate with respect to what again how many of you have guessed i think many of you have guessed if it is direct transform is with respect to x inverse transform will be with respect to s after integrating with respect to s some function of x remain that will be back to f of x now if you remove this sine sine to cos cos we'll get two more definitions so here you have to write cosine cosine so let us complete this uh, fifth and sixth definition quickly fifth definition fourier fourier cosine transform fourier cosine transform of a function f of x is or here for cosine i write c as a suffix of some function f of x will be to this f of x i'll be multiplying weight function cos function considering both s and x integrate with respect to x zero to infinity so that x will vanish some function of s you will get that is denoted by f bar of s and to denote cosine i write it as f bar of s of c so now reverse is inverse fourier cosine transform which is our definition number 6 inverse fourier cosine transform inverse inverse fourier cosine transform naturally from which point we are going from here to here of of this of this es function is is as i told in this sine transform just i have to reverse this but here one more important aspect purposely i had left here also you will be multiplying by 2 by pi and here also you will be multiplying by 2 by pi wherever there are inverse functions we are multiplying something outside see here wherever there are inverse functions you are multiplying by outside direct function you are not multiplying but those constant sometimes change according to situations so that need not worry we are referring uh, these definitions from standard specified referred book grewal for your for your information so inverse fourier cosine transform naturally the notations are important in mathematics without symbols and notations you cannot learn good mathematics if at all you want to learn good mathematics be very 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 familiar with the symbols because mathematics is a language of symbols fourier cosine fourier inverse cosine transformation of a function of s but since it is a cosine transform we write c here just like this e is nothing but 2 by pi purposely i had left 2 by pi there to write simultaneously so 2 by pi here also and 2 by pi here also so that fourier sin inverse of this here also fourier cosine inverse of this is nothing but to this given function of s may be cosine function you will have to multiply by some cos function same like this we we'll repeat all the definitions integrate so you are doing two operations one is multiplying by some function and integrating with respect to what you have to integrate many of you have guessed correctly with respect to s you have to integrate after integrating with respect to s something in x will get you will get back f of x so let me repeat all these six definitions 
if you are familiar to these six definitions with some integration knowledge all the examples of fourier transform with some practice you can do it so what i had given you the picture function of f of x is transformed into three different images direct fourier transform sine fourier transform cosine fourier transform from x domain to s domain in the engineering subjects in the technical subjects usually they take t here to take time variant two independent variables then you are going to have naturally whether there is two dimensional integration two dimensional fourier transform that is interesting that is in a very very later stage now first one to transform f of x to f bar s time domain to frequency domain you will have to multiply by some weight function so according to different weight functions different uh, integrations you will get different transforms you can create your own transform if it is useful it will be in your name it will be in your name so that minus to plus infinity e raised to isx f of x dx is f bar s reverse is known as fourier direct fourier transform inverse fourier transform which is 1 by 2 pi minus to plus infinity to this whatever the output has come if at all you want to revert back to f of x you multiply by not plus ix minus isx f bar of s ds so s will disappear this x will remain as a filtered function f of x instead of e raised to isx if you multiply if you multiply by sin sx and make it zero to infinity you will get one more transform known as a fourier sin transform they are also known as infinite infinite fourier sin transforms fourier sin transform so the definitions are six definitions similarly we are going to get fourier cosine transform fourier sin transform see the fourier sin transform to this function we have multiplied by sin sx since you are integrating with respect to x whatever the s part remains that filtered part is some function of s you will get f bar s of s on all these we are going to do some examples so to reverse this you have to use the same function here and multiply by sin sx integration limits are also same so for all sin cosine whole definition zero to infinity and for direct transform it is minus to plus infinity i am repeating for direct transform inverse direct transform first two definitions minus to plus infinity wherever there is sin cosine transform zero to infinity is the uh, range so that 2 by pi 0 to infinity fs of s so this bar notation don't forget so some of the authors use instead of s alpha here so need not get uh, confused any notation you can use s alpha mu theta so here when i use s everything in term will be in terms of s i have tried to do one example in terms of alpha also some of the authors use square root of 2 by pi also in some situations that is also considered correctly so we are referring greval as a reference book that's why this definition has come out instead of sin if you write cosine two more definitions definition number 5 and definition number 6 you are getting so here we go for a uh, first example of fourier transform examples example number 1 so find the fourier transform of find the fourier transform fourier transform of f of x equal to it has got two parts 1 or 0 it is 1 in the range of mod x less than or equal to a and zero in the range otherwise so first of all let me draw this function so in the solution part first let us see what is this function suppose i draw x and y coordinates a small a very very small x and y coordinate let me draw this is our y axis let this be our x axis so x axis 
the y-axis. Let me take a uh, mod x less than or equal to a means is equivalently it is minus a to plus a. X is between minus a to plus a. Suppose here some minus a is there. So correspondingly here some plus a is there. This region is mod x less than or equal to a. So outside this is mod x greater than a, mod x greater than a. Actually mod x means, mod means distance. Distance from this 0, mod of x minus 0 should be less than or equal to a. So these points if you take from 0, from 0 the distance is any point you take here, any point you take here, the distance between these two points is less than a, whether it is this side or this side. So that modulus is means distance from 0 is less than or equal to a. So now mod of x less than or equal to a and these distances are more than a distances that's why mod x greater than a. So what is the function here in this range the height is 1 some 1 is there. So in this range what you are getting the height suppose some height 1 I take 1 like this. So in this range you will get minus 1 to plus 1. Outside this range it is 0. Suddenly there is a jump here, this jump here and suddenly there is a break here again 0. So 0, 0, 1. Mod x less than a, mod x less than a 1. Here this part and outside the part mod x greater than a it is 0. So let us apply, let us apply definition. Fourier term form, first of all given a, given an example what you have to do, what is asked, Fourier term form is asked, not sine and cosine. So first of all you should remind the first definition of Fourier term form. So how we write it, see children here, Fourier, are you with me children, Fourier term form of a function f of x is, it is integration minus 2 plus infinity to this function f of x you are multiplying e raised to i s x. I did not tell you what is meant by i and I think you know this i is an image number square root of minus 1 dx. But as you have seen that given function has got three parts. First part, second part, third part. So accordingly minus infinity to minus a one part, minus a to plus a second part and a to infinity third part. So let us divide this integration into three parts minus infinity to minus a minus a to plus a and plus a to infinity and this first and last are zero because of this because of this so zero plus here also zero and this f of x is one this f of x is one this height is one in this range minus a to plus a so instead of f of x i have to write one e raised to rsx instead of instead of f of x instead of f of x I have to write 1 and afterwards integrate. So what I did I have used the two parts of f of x f of x is 1 here and f of x is 0 in the outside the range of minus a to plus a. So that correspondingly in the integration also we have used in the inside range 1 outside range 0, 0. Remains is integration of this. You are integrating with respect to x. See students remember if it is with respect to x remaining all the parts means in the integration remaining part means this part. Remaining all the parts act as behave as for time being behave as constant. Now all of you know that integration of the type e raised to 2x dx is e raised to 2x divided by 2 something like this. So now this two part is this part. Instead of 2 you will get is. So, so why not we should integrate now e raised to is x. So divide by constant part is is written here is. So integration value x equal to minus a to x equal to plus a wherever x is there you have to put the limit. Once again I am telling wherever x is there you have to put first upper limit a minus wherever x is there you have to put the lower limit minus a. So let us put that. 
which is equal to e raised to i s a e raised to i s a minus the lower limit x equal to minus a means e raised to minus i s a divided by i s. Now I will remind it to formula here e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta divided by 2i we can write it as sin theta. Similarly there is a formula for e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta divided by 2 and these will be used in almost all the examples. So note that these examples these formula are very very useful to you throughout this chapter. Now I will adjust this for 2i. So what I have to do, I have to take this s out, 1 by s, let it be outside and I have to multiply by 2 here and here, let me multiply by 2 here and 2 here, remaining part let me keep as it is, which is e raised to i s a minus e raised to minus i s a divided by 2 i. This is exactly like this, instead of theta there is s a, instead of theta there is s a. So 2 by s as it is, it will be something in terms of sin theta, instead of theta there is, there is s a which will be therefore the final answer to this function will be Fourier sin transform, sorry Fourier transform of the given function will be transforming to some s function, will be coding to some s function. So just now you only witnessed that this is 2 by s as it is, 2 by s as it is, this becomes a sin of sin of as. Let me go through this quickly once again this whole example. You are given example to find for find the Fourier transform of a function f of x equal to 1. So that I will be writing a added uh, extension of this question now purposely. After this uh, example solving we have to do the deduction part. But to do this Fourier transform what we did? We had a knowledge of this graph. It is a height 1 between minus a to plus a and 0 outside. Then we wrote Fourier transform definition in almost all the almost all the examples. First step is always this. Fourier transform is you have to multiply by e raised to i s x minus 2 plus infinity f of x dx. Break minus infinity to plus minus a minus a to plus a a to infinity. Add all this first and last integration 0. In between height 1 you have to write for f of x. Integration is with respect to x. So except x remaining part is constant just like 2 e raised to 2x integration is e raised to 2x by 2. If it is is here is, is, is and is. x equal to minus a to plus a when you put upper limit minus lower limit this will take the shape of with some adjustment multiplying by 2 or dividing by 2 it will take the shape of this. So instead of sin theta you will be getting sin of as by s. So f of x has changed to some function of s which we denote it by f bar s. So from f of x to f bar s, x domain to s domain. Now I am writing extension of this theorem. Now I had asked this question to you in the beginning. You can also write down. Hence deduce that using this result. Hence deduce that purposely I am writing now. What is the value of this integration? Hence it is that 0 to infinity sin of x by x such a beautiful uh, result is equal to nothing but pi by 2. So without the knowledge of Fourier transform it is almost impossible but with the knowledge of Fourier transform now very easily you can prove this using this. Now whenever there is evaluation part deduction part you have to use you have to use inverse Fourier transform. So to prove that evaluation part purposely I am writing here for deduction or evaluation part consider inverse inverse Fourier transform. Now what is the definition of inverse Fourier transform? Fourier inverse of a function of s is nothing but 1 upon 2 pi definition number 2 you have to refer 
माइनस टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी टू दिस फंक्शन एफ बार एस ऑफ एस यू हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई ई रेस टू माइनस आई एस एक्स एंड इंटीग्रेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वॉट प्लीज दैट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इनवर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑलवेज इंटीग्रेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू यस डोंट फॉरगेट डायरेक्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एक्स इनवर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यस सो वट एवर यू गेट विल बी आउटपुट विल बी एफ ऑफ एक्स नाउ दिस पार्ट already we have calculated this part already we have calculated this part you have calculated so you have to just copy paste this part here shall we do that 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi minus 2 plus infinity e raised to minus i s x f bar s is 2 times sin of a s upon s d s now but this is nothing but this is nothing but f of x so let me write this as f of x now when i write this e raised to minus i s x e raised to minus i theta e raised to minus i theta is cos theta minus i sin theta so let me write that this get cancelling this two 1 by pi minus 2 plus infinity cos theta minus i sin theta this instead of this part i wrote just like e raised to minus i theta is cos minus i sin cos minus i sin so these are two interchangeable forms so this two already i cancelled remaining is sin of as upon es ds i know that it takes little time to adjust now basically this is a formula where right hand side has also x left hand side also x so that you can go on selecting the value of x for what value of x you will get whatever you want which is in the deduction you are asked so what is the deduction asked please once again see in the main function you want only sin x by x dx instead of sin x by x suppose i ask you sin t by t the value will not change by changing the clothes of my person will not change no by changing the clothes similarly by changing the variables here the value of the integration will not change it remains as it is so instead of x first we will be proving for s sin s by s ds is pi by 2 so now just uh, wait so we want only this part means what we have to choose let us see after this example will be stopping so we want you can see that we want only this part we want only this part this remains after selection of some value of x so this should become 1 this should become 0 i think somebody guessed choose it choose choose x equal to 0 so choosing x equal to 0 considering inverse part for reduction inverse fourier transform is important when i choose x equal to 0 i am going to get 1 by pi 0 minus 2 plus infinity sin as upon s ds equal to f of 0 now what is the value of this f of 0 let us take the graph we have drawn the graph and we are given the value also in the beginning in this graph we have zero is here f of 0 height is also 1 and in the given range also f of the range is zero comes in between minus a to plus a so that f of 0 is 1 so i can write the value of f of 0 The value of f of zero as one. Let us write that, and it will be a completion of this example and today's class also.
f of 0 equal to 1. Now, if I retain only this much, if I retain only minus 2 plus infinity sin of a s, a is some constant, d s, this becomes 1. If I transfer pi this side, it is pi. Now, this becomes an even function. Because if you change s to minus s, s to minus s, this minus s will come out and remain same. If uh, after changing minus s to minus s, if the function remains same, then it is the even function. For even function, minus to plus becomes 2 times 0 to infinity and sine of a s upon s d s is pi. Finally, finally, 0 to infinity sin a s upon s, this is general result is nothing but pi by 2 and select some value of a. If I choose a equal to 1, you get the desired result 0 to infinity sin of s upon s d s equal to pi by 2. Now, can you tell me what you have to do to go to the whatever is asked? We are asked to find sin of x by x. You change to any variable, the value will not change. Changing, changing s to x, we get 0 to infinity sin of x upon x dx. See how nice it is. Such a nice result you will get. You can't get such a nice result in any other subject except in mathematics. So we will be continuing with all such examples. Some of the examples I will be showing through this uh, PPT uh, and I will be repeating some of the examples also. In the of course uh, next class we shall repeat whatever you have done and in some, uh, some classes we will be having some more examples. Till that uh, let me say bye for time being. Whatever we have practiced, please see once again. You have to get used to it. You have to get familiar to this uh, language of Fourier transform integration x to s, s to x. I will be with you. You be with me. Without break, you attend all the classes. Till that, bye. So, we will be closing now. Thank you so much for being with me.